some reaction now. We can go to Stoke on Trent and join our correspondent there, Becky Wood. Thanks ever so much. Yeah, of course, Stoke-on-Trent was the city that had the largest leave vote in the country. And today, walking around the shopping centre, gaining some reaction, it's really dividing opinion. I spoke to one gentleman who originally voted leave. He said he was now embarrassed by our government. He would change his mind now. If he was given the chance again, he would vote remain. Lots of people confused. Some people saying to me, where do we go from here? I am joined by a cross-section of the local community. We've got some young voters here. Um, Ryan, interestingly, you're your grandfather voted Remain. He said he thinks that everybody knew the law was being broken. You voted Remain uh, at leave. leave. What do you think of um, today's ruling? Um, I agree on bon uh, George Bonson. We should um, stop um, Parliament, sort this Brexit out, and um, we should um, leave. With but the ruling has found that he, he's broken the law. What do you think of that? Mm. People should um, just just go on with it, just, just leave it. I think there is a sense uh, in the shopping centre that a lot of people want to see that happening. Um, what do you make of today's ruling? Um, I personally think it's quite unlawful. It obviously raises issues that uh, the Prime Minister is perhaps unfaithful, that kind of thing. Um, obviously, it's can we trust Boris in the long run? Um, I think obviously the Brexit, it's Brexit has been going on for far too long, and it does need sorting out. But obviously, this isn't the way to to go in general. Did you vote Leave or Remain? I wasn't old enough at the time. I think now I would vote uh, vote Remain. You vote Remain. I, I mean, the, the, uh, there is a split. There's a divide here in the group. Chris, did you vote Leave or Remain? I didn't have a dog in the fight either way. I'm not a voter, but I would say that I have a real issue with the fact we seem to live in a warped world where comedians are the intellects and politicians are just clowns. They don't seem to not know what they're doing when they're even acting unlawfully. They don't even know the laws they're supposed to be actually enacting for themselves. It just seems like a really weird world we live in. Uh, Sam, you voted to leave. You're a young voter in the city. Um, if you had your vote again, what would you do? I honestly don't know. Um, you know, if there was a revote, which, you know, it's kind of on the cards potentially, um, I'd, I'd do a lot more, lot more research. And uh, to be honest, I've lost confidence in, you know, the people in charge. And I just think, going forward, who do you trust? I know that, um, John, you, this is something you, you have very strong opinions on today. What do you make of the ruling? Um, it's concerning that the Prime Minister has felt like he can get away with something so clearly unlawful and it, it's good that it's been proven unlawful um, because I, I get every Parliament has its opinions and that may be something that the Prime Minister feels is getting in the way of the process of Brexit but silencing them is not the way about it especially when you preach the democracy thing which I definitely get as an argument but um, it, it is genuinely difficult, like where do we go from here now? We are in a stalemate um, because Parliament's not really in agreement on what, like most of Parliament doesn't want to leave, um, but we have a mandate that says we should leave, so it's, it's a very, very, very difficult process really. Um, Thank you very much, Sam. I think definitely that is the question. Where do we go from here? But from here, we're handing back to Ben Brown outside the Supreme Court. Becky, thank you very much indeed.